I have to be honest with you guys, I plan on making this series, regardless of everything that's happening in the world, a long time ago. And that is because, yep, it's all that Foodie Friday food. This series is meant for those of you who are living on a budget, trying to still be healthy, but really just want to still eat delicious food. We're going to do a lot with this series. I can't wait to get started. And today we're talking about quinoa. Now, for those of you who have never had quinoa, technically a grain and it's technically a grass. It's not really a rice-like grain. I know that sounds really weird, but it's like buckwheat and amaranth. It's fantastic. It's a complex carbohydrate. It has a great amount of protein in it. It has a great amount of insoluble fiber. It has all the essential amino acids. This is a grain that you could eat with any meal, promise you, promise you on this one. Cold, hot, soupy, on a potato, whatever you want to do, this grain by itself is a champion. But you're probably asking, Paul, why are you talking about just this one grain? And that's because, again, it's so versatile. Sure, with rice, you can do things like making kanji or making porridge, using it for fried rice, eating it steamed, peel off, fried, whatever the case is. But it's not as nutritionally dense as quinoa. The only other caveat is that quinoa tends to be a little bit more expensive. So keep that in mind if you are truly on a very, very tight budget. This quinoa, I pay about $2 per pound, whereas the rice I get is about 90 cents per pound. But I think the benefits outweigh the cost. Costs. For every one cup of quinoa, you're gonna need two cups of water. Just remember, it's one to two. And luckily enough, you can use a rice steamer to make your quinoa. Into your rice cooker, we're gonna add your one cup of quinoa and your two cups of water. With your water, you do want to add in a touch of salt just to make sure it's seasoned properly. Let this thing cook and don't touch it. While it's cooking, let's do some work. Now keep in mind, all of the ingredients I'm about to use are totally optional and feel free to add whatever you have to these. For me, I'm gonna be using some cucumber and some fresh tomato. Bell peppers, beets, whatever you want, carrots, everything goes really well in a salad like this. We're also gonna prep out just a little bit of diced white onion. This is gonna be for our stir fry. Once your quinoa is done cooking, give it a little forking and fluff it up so that it's nice and light. I do like to cool down my quinoa if I'm not going to use it immediately, so I go ahead and do that on a sheet tray. Now that our quinoa is nice and cooled down, we're gonna do our quinoa three ways. The reason why I wanna show this to you guys is to show you how versatile this grain really is and how you can just keep a bunch of it in the fridge. It freezes exceptionally well and how you can just pull out whatever you need and make whatever you want with it. That's the best part about this grain. To start your quinoa fried rice with kimchi, I'm gonna go ahead and saute up some onions until they're translucent. Add in one cup of our cooked and cold quinoa, followed by any kimchi or cabbage of choice. Get it all nice and incorporated, and I'd like to let this cook for just a few minutes and get it nice and crispy. Transfer your quinoa to your favorite bowl. But wait, there's more. To be honest, every fried rice dish needs a couple of fried eggs right on top. For these, I'm gonna fry these on about a high heat. Give them a little bit of a flip to cook the other side just gently, flip them again, and place them right on top of your kimchi fried rice. I'm also gonna garnish this with some really nice pickled garlic. That garlic makes all the difference. Now to make your super healthy quinoa salad, we're just gonna need one cup of quinoa, all the carrots and tomatoes you really want, and again, substitute whatever vegetables you want. A little bit of fresh lemon juice, salt and more black pepper, and a touch of olive oil. Give this a good stir and it's pretty much done. This comes super quick. Feel free to add a nice hard cheese or a hard boiled egg. So now for breakfast, this one is kind of interesting, but it tastes really good. We're gonna use about three quarters of a cup of almond milk and one cup of quinoa. We're gonna go ahead and bring this to a simmer and just let all of that almond milk evaporate. I don't know what's happening on screen right now, but as this simmers, we're gonna slowly start to evaporate all that almond milk and you can see how it's starting to thicken up. Place this into your favorite bowl or plate and we're gonna go ahead and garnish this with a few things. We're gonna hit this with about two tablespoons worth of granola and about a tablespoon of this beautiful fresh honey that someone had sent me from Australia. It's, it's just, it's so good, so good. I'm also gonna hit with a little bit of fresh blueberry. Feel free to add strawberries, bananas, pineapple, whatever you want to this. And there it is guys, quinoa three way. Granted, I made these how I would wanna eat them. Like I love having a stir fried quinoa dish with a couple of eggs. I love having it as a salad. This is kind of in lieu of like a couscous if you're going that way or a bulgur wheat. And this is in lieu of doing oats. I know a lot of you guys don't actually like oats if you want an alternative. This is perfect for a 
breakfast porridge if you want that. The other thing you do is you could add a little bit of salmon to this salad. You could add some chicken to it. For this, if you really wanted to, throw in a scoop of your favorite vegan protein powder and up that protein content for breakfast. For your fried rice, if you don't want kimchi, throw in, I don't know, regular cabbage or throw in some onions and throw in some garlic and put in really whatever you want. Use it as a substitute for rice. Just get it really crispy. If you want the macronutrients for each of these, it's gonna be down below in the description. Check that out so you guys can get a gauge of really what is in each of these dishes. Keep in mind, every single one of these dishes only had one cup of quinoa. That's about 220 calories, about 40 grams of carbohydrates, about eight grams of protein, and a ton of amino acids, really everything you need in a grain. But now we have to try each and every one of these, at least a bite of it before um, in that pot that's been back there that's been corned beef and cabbage cooking all day. You know, let's start with breakfast. Hot. It was hotter than the sun. Let's try that again. It's really light because of the almond milk. The blueberries give it a nice pop and a nice freshness to it. The granola gives it that much needed crunch and that honey, man, that honey is amazing. And here's our really nice salad. Remember the only acid in here is the lemon juice and then just a touch of olive oil, <clears throat> feta cheese or chicken with it and it would be amazing. Super bright, super fresh, really easy to eat. This would be a perfect little luncheon. And uh, this is what I've been waiting for. Our quinoa fried rice. Oh yeah, look at that egg yolk. Get that all in there. I mean, it's kimchi fried rice, guys. Mmm, spicy, salty. Remember, this is all about quinoa, using one grain to make multiple dishes. This isn't really about learning how to make single recipes. I want you guys to be creative. Make these however you want. If you want the macronutrients, it'll be down below in the description. Follow me on Twitch. My name is Chef PK, hoping to teach you something. Get subscribed, and remember, keep playing with your food. When I speak all cap with the speech till they caught up in the rapture. I'm so out of line with the phrase game. Let's take a break, been a long day.